This video is about a groundbreaking discovery made by Chinese scientists in the lunar samples collected by the Chang'e 5 mission. They found graphene, a form of pure carbon, which challenges the prevalent theory of the moon's origin. This discovery is significant because it could alter our understanding of how the moon was formed and provide new insights into its geological history. We will explore how the scientists discovered graphene, why this finding is so important, and what it means for future lunar research. The Chang'e 5 mission, launched by China in 2020, marked a significant milestone in lunar exploration. Its primary objective was to collect and return lunar soil samples from the moon's surface, specifically from a region known for its volcanic activity. The mission was a success, bringing back approximately 1,731 grams of lunar material, including a groundbreaking discovery graphene. Graphene is a single layer of carbon atoms arranged in a hexagonal lattice known for its exceptional strength, electrical conductivity, and flexibility. This remarkable material has a wide range of applications, from electronics to energy storage. The discovery of graphene in lunar samples is particularly intriguing because it suggests the Moon has processes that can form such advanced materials naturally. The Chinese research team, led by scientists from Jilin University, employed a combination of sophisticated techniques to analyze the lunar soil. One of the primary methods used was Raman spectroscopy, a powerful tool for identifying the molecular composition and structure of materials. This technique allowed the scientists to detect the unique signature of graphene within the lunar samples. In addition to Raman spectroscopy, the researchers utilized advanced electron microscopy to examine the samples at an atomic level. This method provided detailed images of the graphene's atomic arrangement, confirming its presence in structure. The graphene was found in individual flakes and is part of a carbon shell enclosing elements like sodium, magnesium, aluminum, silicon, calcium, tin, and iron. The presence of graphene in lunar soil raises fascinating questions about the moon's geological processes. The scientists propose that high temperature events, such as volcanic eruptions, may have facilitated the formation of graphene. These eruptions could have caused iron-bearing lunar soil to interact with carbon-containing gas molecules from solar winds, leading to the creation of graphene through a process called mineral catalysis. The detection of graphene challenges previous assumptions about the moon's composition. Earlier lunar samples from the Apollo missions indicated a carbon-depleted moon, supporting the giant impact theory of its origin. This theory suggests that the moon formed from debris, resulting from a collision between the Earth and a Mars-sized body, with the moon inheriting Earth's carbon-depleted mantle. However, the discovery of graphene suggests that the moon may have its own indigenous carbon, prompting a re-evaluation of its formation history. This groundbreaking discovery not only advances our understanding of lunar geology, but also has practical implications. By studying how graphene forms naturally on the moon, scientists could develop new methods for synthesizing high-quality graphene on Earth. This could lead to more efficient and cost-effective production techniques, benefiting various industries that rely on graphene's unique properties. The giant impact theory has been the dominant explanation for the moon's origin for decades. According to this theory, the moon was formed from the debris left over after a collision between a young Earth and a Mars-sized body. One of the key pieces of evidence supporting this theory is the apparent lack of carbon in lunar samples, suggesting that the Moon is largely made up of material from Earth's mantle, which is also carbon depleted. However, the discovery of graphene in the Chang'e 5 samples challenges this assumption. If the Moon were truly carbon depleted, finding significant amounts of graphene would be unlikely. This new evidence suggests that the Moon may have its own sources of carbon, independent of Earth. This finding aligns with a recent Japanese study that detected carbon ions across the lunar surface, further supporting the presence of indigenous carbon on the Moon. This new perspective on the Moon's carbon content has profound implications for the giant impact theory. If the Moon has more carbon than previously thought, it could mean that the collision that formed the Moon involved more carbon-rich material than we assumed, Alternatively, it might suggest that other processes, such as volcanic activity, have introduced carbon to the moon's surface over time. 
The presence of graphene also hints at a potential carbon capturing process on the moon. High temperature volcanic eruptions could have allowed iron bearing lunar soil to interact with carbon containing gas molecules from solar winds, leading to the formation of graphene. This mechanism suggests that the moon has been capturing and storing carbon for billions of years, gradually building up its carbon content. These findings challenge the simplicity of the giant impact theory and highlight the need for a more nuanced understanding of the moon's formation. By studying the properties and distribution of graphene on the moon, scientists can gain new insights into the processes that shaped its surface and its chemical evolution. This could ultimately lead to a revised theory of the moon's origin that incorporates these new discoveries. The discovery of graphene in lunar samples has broader implications beyond challenging the giant impact theory. Graphene's unique properties make it a material of great interest for various technological applications, including electronics, energy storage, and even space exploration. Understanding how graphene forms naturally on the moon could provide valuable insights for developing new methods to synthesize this material on Earth. One of the key questions raised by this discovery is how graphene's formation on the moon can inform our efforts to produce high-quality graphene more efficiently. Currently, graphene is synthesized using methods like chemical vapor deposition and exfoliation of graphite, which can be costly and complex. By studying the natural processes that create graphene on the moon, scientists may identify new, scalable techniques for graphene production. The discovery also underscores the importance of continued lunar exploration. The Chang'e 5 mission has already provided valuable insights into the moon's geological history, and future missions could uncover even more. For example, studying younger lunar samples, like those from volcanic regions, could reveal additional details about the moon's carbon content and the processes that have shaped its surface. Moreover, the presence of graphene on the moon suggests that other valuable materials might be waiting to be discovered. As we continue to explore the lunar surface, we may find new resources that could support future space missions and even the establishment of lunar bases. These resources could include not only carbon-based materials, but also metals and other elements essential for space exploration and development. The findings from the Chang'e 5 mission also highlight the importance of international collaboration in space exploration. By sharing data and resources, scientists from different countries can work together to unravel the mysteries of the moon and other celestial bodies. This collaborative approach can accelerate the pace of discovery and lead to breakthroughs that benefit all of humanity. The discovery of graphene in lunar samples is a game changer for our understanding of the moon. It challenges the giant impact theory, suggests new processes for carbon capture on the lunar surface, and opens up exciting possibilities for future research and technological development. As we continue to explore the moon and study its unique materials, we can expect to uncover even more secrets about its formation and evolution. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about the latest discoveries in space exploration, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content.